And this gentleman, Mike Meinhardt, with, with Red Hat. That's right. Mike has brought in some wonderful goodies to show off this morning. Okay, first of all, what is Red Hat? Red Hat is a co-op of vegetable growers, uh, all greenhouse based. We're in Medicine Hat, Red Cliff area, so that's where the name Red Hat came from, Red Cliff, Medicine Hat. Smart. Uh, we're in our 49th year, started with 10 growers and, uh, and tomatoes, and now we're 50 growers and grow a whole variety of, you know, about 50, 60 different uh, products that you find in stores all around town. You're a true co-op. True co-op. We're owned by the growers. So uh, the growers bring their product into the, the warehouse they own together, and, and uh, we work for them to make sure that we can get fresh vegetables on plates in Calgary. So you're launching your new program here, and it's a community fundraising type of program. Yeah. Explain it to us. So it's called the Fresh Picked Fundraiser. And so I, I've got three kids, and they're into sports, and, and we're always doing fundraisers. And we've done the Spolumbo sausages. We've done the bottle drives. We, you name it, we've done it, and we've probably done it twice. And so what we're trying is trying to put fresh, healthy vegetables in people's hands as part of the fundraiser. So a team, a church group, a community organization, you name it, it mm -hmm. could be anybody. They could be trying to raise $1,000 to take their hockey or soccer team to a tournament. They could be trying to raise $100,000 to take the band on a trip through the States. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you, uh, you go out and sell cases of fresh produce. And you sell it to your neighbors, you sell it to your family members, you sell it to people up and down the street via your Facebook account, via your email friends and uh, and they buy and we sell a case of produce or, or a thousand cases of produce a hundred cases of produce whatever you need and then you take that mixed case of produce and put it out in people's hands now is the case about this size here? yeah it's about 15 pounds worth of product wow. and uh, and really it will have been mm -hmm. the beauty of it is it's straight from the grower via the community organization to the end user. So the grower will pick it today, we'll ship it to you tomorrow, and the next day I people are cooking idea. with it uh, in their kitchen. Because everyone needs idea. produce in their kitchen. Mm. I don't always yeah. need uh, chocolate cover yeah. uh, popcorn, popcorn and right? Yeah. I don't always need, <laughs> and, you know, I, I always the buy cookies. the Girl Scout cookies, I don't always need the Girl Scout cookies. Uh -huh. um, but produce, we, we all buy it, we all use it, and it encourages people to use maybe a little bit more, um, and it's, fresh, it's, it's as fresh as you're ever gonna get it. And what I always find interesting about these box programs mm -hmm. is that you usually get something that you've never had yeah. or never thought mm -hmm. to buy or has scared you. And then all of That's a sudden right. it's in your kitchen and in your house. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then you're forced to do something. You know, just it. like we've talked with, you know, throughout the day, you know, maybe you get a microgreen. Maybe you get a garlic chive microgreen in there and you don't know what to do with it. Well, now you've got a, a wonderful garlicky seasoning that you can add into a salad. You can put it in a sandwich. You can garnish a soup with it. Um, you might get an eggplant. You know, eggplant is, I mean, every grocery store carries eggplant. Not every person cooks with eggplant. Mm -hmm. and, and, but it, it's a fantastic vegetable once you get over the fear of what to do with it. So you might get an eggplant in there. You might get some different herbs or different things that, that uh, you know, the growers are growing out in Medicine Hat and you might mm -hmm. not even see at a store because we're growing it in little test, hot peppers, for example, that we grow in a little test batch that we don't really have enough to put into any major, you know, major outlet. So it's kind of a fun way to get a different box of produce mm -hmm. at a great price and cheaper than you'd buy it at the grocery store because because, you know. I, I have a question for yeah. you. Um, the produce, is it sprayed with anything or the processing is in a greenhouse? So we have two different kinds of products. We have mm -hmm. organically grown products which mm -hmm. would not be used, herb we would not use herbicides, pesticides right. and you only use organic approved fertilizers. Mm -hmm. The rest of the conventional greenhouses, we, we don't spray. What we do, we use a pest management program. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, fly paper and, mm -hmm. and scientists look at the fly paper oh, and we yeah. introduce yeah. bugs. So we have sort of a pest yeah. management program. That's great. And from a fertilizer standpoint, at certain times in the crop, they'll, they'll use for approved fertilizers. Um, early in the season, the plant might need a little bit of help when the sun isn't up that much. At the end of the season, when the plant's getting a little older and the sun is going back down. Um, so we'll use a little bit of fertilizer on the conventional crops. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's in good. Your fifth, you're into your 50th year. Yeah, next year's 50. And why is it taking so long, Mike? We haven't talked about ourselves. Yeah. So, so it's funny. Everyone I talk to, you know, I'll say, oh, I work at Red Hat. Well, 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 what's that? And I'll say the same thing. Call me tomorrow. Go home and open your fridge. And almost every time they go home and they open their fridge and they've got you know three color peppers the stoplight peppers oh that's red hat they've got our butter lettuce maybe they've got our cucumbers which is you know you, you can't go to really a grocery store in town now that our mm -hmm. cucumbers are producing and you cannot find our cucumbers and but people i think grab a cucumber they don't think of what the name on the cucumber is and they don't realize that if it's a red hat product it's local if it's something else you know they might they're still bringing them in from mexico they're still coming from other places but if you see red hat you know it's from two hours down the road and it's interesting because I think sometimes we think of ourselves as a beef 
um, yeah. this country, we forget that all of this is uh, just That's right. right around all the corner local. as well. Mm -hmm. That's right, yeah. It's and it's the start of the season for us now. So cucumbers and mini cucumbers are now picking in full, mm. you know, full production. Uh, tomatoes, all the varieties of tomatoes start, well, we've started picking, but it's five and six cases. You know, next week the volume will start and you'll start seeing mm -hmm. them in stores. So everything from cocktails and TOVs and grape and cherry, you name it, you know, about 30 different kinds of tomatoes. And then peppers are about a month behind. They take a little longer to get going. So we're about a month away from bell peppers, sweet long red peppers, eggplant would be sort of in that sure. pepper family. Um, but a month from now, it might be a big one foot snowstorm outside, but local vegetables are, are in your stores. Well, that's the thing, it's indoor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we talk about different season and seasonal food. Yeah. When you are an operation that's indoor, is there any such thing as seasonal food anymore? You know, we could grow mangoes if we wanted to. You might end up paying $50 a mango. <laughs> <laughs> sure. but, but, you know, once you're inside, you can control the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And once you control the ecosystem, you can sort of do what you want. Mangoes and avocados don't make sense um, in our climate to, build, to grow them in a greenhouse. But, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of products. All the leafy greens are, you know, a lot of stuff makes sense. Mm -hmm. Amber, what would you do with that? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've been just eyeing it up. Yeah. I would make a salad, I would roast the eggplant and the peppers together. The greens, the little microgreens are great mm -hmm. in salads mm -hmm. or any sort of roasted veggies. I would make pureed tomato pepper soup, cucumbers are just in a salad or juice them. So yeah. many. And I can see it in your face. I know. Too. I'm just, oh, yeah. I just want to mix stuff right now. Yeah. Let's yeah. just make something. I see. Those microgreens, yeah. Chef Jen? Yeah, I would. Uh, you know what? My first thought when I saw that good stuff was just a good solid gazpacho uh, finished with those lovely microgreens. So if you don't know gazpacho, you kind of just get to blend and mix a whole bunch of really lovely things and season it with a ton of lime juice. And then mm. you could Super put seaweed fresh. on top of you it. You could put seaweed. It would yeah. be a fusion yes. meal. That's right. uh, but yeah, you know what? Amber and I were talking over the break. Um, that's inspiration, right? It, you no? get, it kind of blows your mind. It's beautiful. It's colorful. It's inviting. You need more locations, Mike. Bottom line. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're, you said in Medicine Hat area. So but medicine, really, how about farther north? Well, Medicine Hat's expanded where, across Canada. It's a revolution, I, I tell you. Veggie red <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we have, I mean, most of our greenhouses are within a quick driving distance to the warehouse so that they can just quickly bring their product in every day and that quickly we can get the product, but we've talked about opening up a greenhouse in Calgary. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's more just so that people in Calgary don't have to drive to Medicine Hat to see them. So, you know, enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. And, and same thing around Edmonton. You know, we kind of are the prairies. You have a big greenhouse hub in, in uh, BC, and so the Delta Tawasin area. Mm -hmm. You've got a big greenhouse hub in, in, in Ontario. And then we're kind of your prairie supplier for uh, for greenhouse Fantastic. products. Yeah. Uh, Mike Marthard with Red, Red Hat. At Produce Growers on Twitter, yes? Yes. At Produce Growers on Twitter.